Hi, it's Lee. Today I'm reviewing Crate Joy's The Russia Box. Uh, the Russia Box is going to give you snacks from around um, the Soviet or uh, Slavic countries, so Russia and the surrounding areas. This is what the box looks like. It's very heavy, so I did like that. This one was about $22. Um, I did see a few like discounts and uh, like promotions going on, so you could probably get it for cheaper. Um, it is a smaller box compared to, let's say, the Munch Pack, which is another snacks description box. This one is bigger than this one, but this one is way heavier. Um, personally, I feel like so far it seems like it's worth it, uh, especially for the price, because for this one I ended up paying about $26. It did take a while to get to me. Uh, they do give you an option of adding a note, and I added a little note to myself. They give you this little um, postcard that says thank you for um, purchasing the Russia box and enjoy the snacks and the cultural items included. It brings like a pamphlet of the different um, snacks and stuff that you find and I guess it just talks about it. It is a little bit like it's not as professional as the munch bag. You can clearly tell that they put a little bit more work into this. But honestly, like this definitely makes me feel like it's going to be more authentic versus this that it seems like it has a really good marketing strategy. Let's open the box. We're going to need a scissor or something to um, cut it open. Sheesh. When you go on the Crate Joy website, you will see quite a few different subscription boxes. Um, I This one was definitely one of the ones that I thought was the most interesting. So let's see. Once you open up the box, this is what it's going to look like. And let's see what's in it. A little cold pack to keep things um, fresh, I guess. And let's see what's in here. So we'll start off with this. So we have a gingerbread with fruit filling and chocolate. I'm going to try them, but I do want to run through the box really quick. So this is another item that is going to bring, uh, I guess it's called a peanut brittle. I don't know how to say that in Russian. I'm not a big peanut fan, so I probably am not going to like this, so I'm not going to try that. But if you are a peanut person, you might like that. Oh, look. <laughs> they even give you like a, um, this looks like a soup or a stew mix, so that's really cool. Uh, the Munch Pack box only brought snacks. They didn't bring like dinner or soup mixes. Um, I'm not sure if this is a snack in their country. It could be, but I'm not sure, but it still looks pretty cool. And then they bring you, um, they give you like these, these candies. And let's see what the candies are. Okay, so the little candies that they bring are called Fizzy Book Hard Candies with Filling. In the pamphlet, they say where each item is from. So this soup thing is from Russia. Then we have um, the next item, which is going to be the dry powder drink. And this is also from Russia. We also have the peanut thing. This one is also from Russia. And then these ginger. So the my phone actually died in the middle of me recording this. So I had some of the content didn't get captured. Um, so I had opened these ones already and these are actually pretty tasty. They are gingerbread with fruit filling covered in chocolate. So they look like that. It's tasty. I had one earlier. They don't bring that many, about like 10. So you could definitely eat this in one sitting, I think. I could eat it <laughs> in one sitting. The camera died, so I ate it already, and it only brought one. But it was basically a a. Uh, this is from the Ukraine, and it was a it was a prune covered in chocolate. It was good. It was good.
These are from the Ukraine, and it says that they're baked bread snacks. Very tasty. They taste like, I think they're called croutons, that you put in the salad. So far, I would definitely recommend this box, not only because the items, everything that I've tasted is definitely tasty, but also because I think that it's cool that they bring the powdered drink and the soup mix. I personally normally would not purchase these things if I saw it at the store, but I mean, I'm definitely going to try it now that I have it here, and it definitely seems very authentic. Uh, one of the things that I do like about these items is that they're all in Russian or I guess like Ukrainian or well this one is the only one that it is in English um, so maybe it's made for exporting purposes uh, but I do prefer when the packaging is all in uh, the country's language because it does show you that these are the items that they're most likely selling to the people in the country versus like an exporting item that is from there but they're they're meant for people in other places these candies are another candy that I brought and I thought these were actually very tasty they're gummies with some sort of like candy filling they look like that um, like that it's tasty So aside from the snacks, the drink, the food, another item that the box is going to bring is going to be a cultural item. And this I thought was really cute. This one is a Soviet figurine. It's um, celebrating Azerbaijan. I don't know what that is and I don't know if I said it right or not, but um, it's definitely cute and uh, I, I think I would keep it here. It's just really cool because the Munch Pack didn't bring that and really they only brought treats that I personally probably wouldn't buy either and I definitely wouldn't want to try again. These ones I probably wouldn't buy them in the store but now that I've had them I would probably purchase them now if I saw them and I think it's worth it. Overall I definitely recommend this box if you're considering getting a snack uh, subscription box or even just a subscription box with things from different places this could be a good box to get. It was heavy. It did have quite a few items. I mean, I'm definitely going to eat everything that's in here. I'm excited to try the soup and the <laughs> the powdered drink. Hopefully it's good. Um, if it's not, then that's okay too. I recommend it. I recommend it. Definitely a better alternative to the munch pack. To the munch pack, for sure. So thanks for watching my video, and um, I'll see you guys next time.